What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the one lure you have to have for bass fishing in the early spring. This is the Smithwick Floating Rogue. Let's put it to use. There's one. Yeah, decent bass. <laughs> Woo! You might not think you'd throw a floating rogue in the creek, but man, it'll catch him now. Let's get you in here and talk about you. He's got some lipstick on. How about that? Man, what a nice bass. And wh why, why will they eat a floating rogue, a bait this big in a little tiny creek? Well, let me tell you, because this looks just like a minnow that they're eating. It looks just like a minnow, a shad, anything that they're eating down there, that floating rogue's going to imitate it. We put this floating rogue in the March and April Banking Creek Tap Kit because it is a trophy hunting bait. This is a big bass catching lure. I don't care if you're in a pond, you're in a creek, wherever you're at. Big bass like to snatch this thing up because in cooler water, they're looking for a sluggish meal. And what this thing does, whenever you're just moving it along slowly, popping it along, it looks just like a tired shad, tired minnow, just ready to give up. So man, they pounce on it. I work this floating rogue a little bit differently than most people tend to. I like to throw it out, nice deep hole of water, reel it down, and then I keep it on a steady reel. I'll just have a slow reel going on my retrieve so that bait's just slowly kicking along down there. And I just give little small subtle pops the entire time I'm reeling this thing in. This thing's just gonna pop and dart and dive. It looks just like a dying minnow. It's perfect when that water's about 45, 50 degrees, good and cold, February, March. This bait is money. I don't like it. Oh man, this is good and Dave. Ah! Oh man, this thing just about took the rod out of my hand. Oh. Oh man, you talk about having a lure that lets you feel like you're really doing something. I'm reeling it, I'm jerking it, I'm popping it, I'm getting bites. Man, this thing is awesome. Now, when and where do you fish this rogue? A nice windy day like we got today is perfect, but you want to find some deep water that's got some structure by it. This is a great bait to throw over logs, trees, anything that's over shallow water. You're going to crank that thing over the top of it, jerk it around, you're going to draw those big bass out with it. Oh gosh, Dave. We got a good in here, man. I am telling you, if you want to catch some good bass, you need to get the March and April Banking Creek Tackle Kit, and you need to introduce yourself to the Smithwick Floating Rogue. It's going to catch you some good fish. Only 300 of these dudes made.